Okay, another little uh, little bass snippet vignette. Okay, so thinking about constructing bass lines, what are the arpeggios for? What are the chords for as well? You know, um, let's look at the kind of hierarchy of it. First thing, your job as a bass player is to um, really provide the harmonic foundation and the time, the pulse for the rest of the band. Yeah, so it's a really important instrument. Uh, and generally speaking, if it sticks out, if the bass line sticks out, you've probably done a bad job. You actually kind of want it to sit there and be unnoticed. It's a very thankless task, but it is the most important instrument. Anyway, approaches to constructing bass lines um, and using, for example, arpeggios. I've got a loop here, just a guitar uh, I played earlier. Now it's got three chords. It's a D minor seven, a C major, and a G major sounds like this. Now I'm going to talk over the top of this so hopefully it will be clear. The first thing I could do is play root notes.
could step outside, you could add in other chords from the G major diatonic set. guitar player or the keyboard player will punch you because you're probably playing a bit too much at that point but for practice you can definitely do it so you've got root notes uh, root notes and octaves you've got root notes fifths and octaves yeah and then you've got the arpeggios jumble them up into any order you want rhythmically that's really your job is to pick these notes out and make them sound rhythmically interesting and fit what the singers doing and what the rest of the band is doing and you've also got those chords which you can practice and you should know them and they may be appropriate at some points but generally speaking you're probably not gonna be playing chords in a band context yeah okay I'm gonna leave that um, loop running and you can kind of practice for a little bit Have some fun with that, mess around with that a little bit, nice one. <laughs> 